the 28-year-old Thai star hit an impressive 2 under 68 at Shinnecock Hills Golf Club, taking advantage of an early start to shoot 5 birdies against 3 bogeys and rose 51 rungs to T7 on 6 over 216 in the year's second major. He will enter the final round only three shots behind co-leaders Dustin Johnson, 77, Daniel Berger, 66, Tony Finau, 66, and defending champion Brooks Kopka, 72. Kiradek was only one of three players in the field to break par on golf's moving day, the other two being Berger and Finau, as he gave himself a shot at the title and a chance to wrap up his PGA Tour card for the 2018-19 season. It's always pressure to be in the US Open. To have a chance to play on the weekend is such a great week. And to move up a lot on my position, I just tried to do everything that my job had to do, keep the ball in play and just hope it will be my day, said Kiradek, who has two top minus fives at the World Golf Championships Mexico Championship and WGC Dell Technologies match play. The big hitting tie, ranked 31st in the world, found all fairways on Saturday which made life easier for him. After making bogey on 3 when he found a greenside bunker, he bounced back with birdies on 4, 5 and 8, converting putts from inside of 10 feet. He traded two more birdies on 12 and 17 against drop shots on 13 and 14 for his first under par round in two US Open appearances. Nearly five and a half hours after signing his scorecard, and with the leaders struggling as the winds picked up and greens became devilishly tricky, Kiradek found himself lying in the top ten of a major championship at any stage for the first time in his blossoming career. He knows he must repeat his heroics and stay patient on Sunday to have any chance of becoming only the second Asian golfer after South Korea's Y.E. Yang, 2009 PGA Championship, to win a major championship. I think it's all about keeping the ball in play, under the wind and then put it in the right positions. Some putts you have to be a little bit against it, some putts you have to back off a little bit. It just has to be all about the game planning. You hit it out of position, on this course when you make a mistake, it hurts a lot, said Kiradek. This course, when the wind picks up, is a completely different golf course really difficult to put the ball in the fairways, and you can't hold the greens. And the pins were really tricky. You just have to be really patient and really calm on the shot, said Kiradek, who will play alongside Masters Tournament winner Patrick Reed in the fourth-to-last pairing on Sunday. Kuka dropped four bogeys against two birdies for a 72 which earned him a share of the third-round lead, giving himself a chance to retain the US Open. I'm glad I'm in the position I'm in. I feel like, you know, obviously, going off in the morning was a little bit easier. Guys are spinning the balls on the greens. I don't think there was this much wind. I'm not really quite sure. But it definitely got difficult in the afternoon. You got to, comes down to winning the US. Open, you got to have some grit, some heart. I mean, I've won one, so why not win another, said Kopka. Taking a four-shot lead into the third day, Johnson, who regained his world no. One mantle after winning the FedEx Street. Jude Classic last week, made one double bogey, six bogeys and one birdie to fall back into the field.